You seem like you're raring to go. Are you ready to compete? Good. Then please follow me into the arena. Our next competitor is seen by many as the favorite to win this tournament. His first bout begins now! Y you You're the hero they're talking about? Ugh. How am I supposed to win now? What a strange guy. Why was he so confident to begin with? Well, now that we've won, let's go and see Beto. She'll probably have something to say to us. <laughs> I knew I wouldn't regret introducing you as the favorite. So, what do you think, Kazuha? He totally dominated that guy and did it with style, too. Impressive. But I also observed our favorite exercise some restraint, as if to protect the opponent from serious harm. Well, I've fought my fair share of battles, both big and small. And I say, after the show he put on just now, he's more than convinced me of his ability. So come on, we all know you've got a wide vocabulary in there. Can't you spare a word or two to congratulate our up-and-coming champion? All right. Let me think how to aptly phrase these words of praise. You fought well. Uh, all right, then. I was thinking your inner poet might want to join in the fun, but I guess I shouldn't put you on the spot like that. You know, a lot of competitors came to me saying how surprised they were that Liyue's hero was entering the tournament. And since you signed up, we've had many others do the same, with more than a few top-tier fighters among them. I'm sure lots of them are here to find out how they stack up against you. <laughs> well, since everyone sees you as the one to beat, I figure I should start treating you that way too. For one thing, we don't want you wasting all your energy in the early rounds fighting people who are well below your level. Not to mention, you must be itching to fight someone in your league too, right? So, I'm putting you straight through to the semifinals. Huh? But we only just started the qualifiers! Seems like a crazy system if we just skip straight to the semifinals! This is how Captain Beto works. You won't persuade her otherwise. Besides, at your level, you would have made it to the semifinals anyway. Huh. To be fair, I'm always thinking that too. Alright, I'm gonna watch some more of the tournament. If there's any potential contenders for you out there, I want to know who they are and what they're about. We're finally here, folks! The real show is about to begin! <laughs> the captain seems to have high hopes for this tournament. I have not seen her so excited in quite some time. Your opponent has fought many rounds to get to the semifinals. This makes him a seasoned warrior. You may well be stronger than him, but this should not give you cause to lower your guard. Very well. Show me that you are ready to push through the storm that lies ahead. All right, that's enough chit-chat for now. The audience is waiting. Go find the crew member that signed you up. She'll take you into the arena. Your opponent in the semifinals is new to the Crux Clash, but he has quickly become the dark horse of the tournament. I do not doubt your abilities, but I would suggest that you make sure you are fully prepared before you begin. Relax! My guy's at the top of his game! He ain't gonna lose. Don't worry. Take some time to compose yourself. At last! The moment we've all been waiting for! The semifinals have begun! Who's it gonna be this time? The hero or the dark horse? I don't care about the prize. You're a strong opponent. That's what I'm here for. Yeah. I'm sweating all over. It's a good feeling. Congratulations. I was beaten by the best. I need to train harder. Right! For a moment there, Paimo was a little worried. If you had a vision, you'd definitely be one of the strongest around. I wanted a vision once, when I was a kid. People said that if you're strong enough, 
you'll have your chance to get one. But mine never came. I lost interest eventually. You can't depend on a vision like you can your own body. I've fought and won against vision bearers before. <sighs> the power they have was given to them by the gods. I don't envy it. Huh? You mean you didn't sign up to try and get your hands on that masterless vision? No, I didn't. I only wanted to pit myself against other fighters and see who was the strongest. Only in defeat can you understand your weaknesses and learn from them. So I'm pleased with today's outcome. I don't often have the pleasure of experiencing defeat. Wow! Now that's true strength talking! If you have the chance in the future, please come and spar with me again. I will be stronger next time. Uh, by the way, do you know who else made it into the finals? Is it gonna be someone even tougher than you? Whether they'll be as tough as me, I don't know. But what I have heard is that they're extremely quick. So don't get too cocky. There he goes. Maybe we should ask around, see what we can find out about our opponent in the final round. Paimon thinks we might need to up our game a little. Ah, it's you! <laughs> I watched your match. What a stunning performance. I myself was eliminated in the third round. <sighs> Shame. If only I could have advanced one more round. Aw, uh, maybe next time, huh? Uh, by the way, do you happen to know who else advanced to the final round? Why, yes. He's the same one who defeated me. He is a formidable opponent, quick on his feet and swift to take advantage of his opponent's missteps. I faltered for but a brief moment, but before I knew it, he had me on the floor. Given my stature, I have no fear of squaring off with physically strong opponents, but faced with a nimble, agile opponent such as him, I found myself completely out of my league. Still, I'm sure he'll be no match for you. <laughs> You've got nothing to worry about. Nobody here can stack up against the likes of you. No way. Hey there! Uh, well, where did the other guy go? He tried to use force dispersal to deflect a punch, but instead he took it straight to the nose. There was blood all over the place. His opponent was pretty freaked out by it. He kept asking him, why didn't you dodge? But he was pretty much out cold by that point and couldn't reply. Why don't you dodge, they ask. Because to not dodge is the very essence of Ling Shun Clan Kung Fu. It's just that he hadn't quite mastered it yet. Don't even get me started. I spent all my energy helping him get from here to the boat to take him back to the harbor. But by the time I got back, my scheduled match time had already passed and I had to forfeit. I don't dare tell my master about this, otherwise I'd never hear the end of it. Sorry, I shouldn't be complaining in front of you like this. I'm afraid I'm still a bit out of sorts at the moment so I probably won't be able to help you with whatever you were here to ask me about. Oh, all right then. Hope your buddy makes a swift recovery. Hang in there. Thanks, I'll do my best. <sighs> we still haven't got any useful information yet. Maybe we can go talk to Beto. Surely she's gotta know something. <sighs> I missed my only chance. I guess I should be heading back to Li Yue as well. You gave an outstanding performance. Truly commendable. I could sense that you're not familiar with bouts of this kind. And it could have cost you the match. But you were quick to adapt and managed to claim victory over your opponent. That is a most invaluable skill. In fact, I discerned this not from what I saw, but what I heard. The ground beneath your feet, and the pattern of your breathing. But it is nothing remarkable, for I discerned nothing more than Captain Beto did. <laughs> He's right. But in my case, I was purely relying on previous experience. I guess not using your elemental powers must be quite new for you, huh? We wanted to ask about who our opponent will be in the final round. Do you think they'll be stronger than the one we faced in the semifinals? Not exactly. Contenders that reach the finals aren't necessarily stronger. They tend to have something unique about their style. As for the guy you'll be facing, his skill lies in his speed, and he has superior form. It's also obvious that he's seen his fair share of battles. 
What's the matter? Worried that you've bitten off more than you can chew this time? If that is the case, then I have a proposal for you. Let's go somewhere a little quieter, shall we? I haven't properly introduced myself yet. In the land of Inazuma, I was a wandering samurai. Uh, yeah, we could tell that from your getup. But at the same time, when you talk, you don't really sound like someone who's used to waving a sword around. It is true that I am versed both in literary and martial traditions. But on the straggling path of a wandering samurai, is there harm in acquiring a surplus skill? I do not mean to flaunt my martial prowess. But I myself have witnessed reputable fighters hailing from across the lands. I do possess some knowledge regarding your opponent's particular skill set. Given your talents, a few hints from me will be all that's necessary to bring your opponent down. Hang on. Don't you think you're bending the rules a bit there? Gathering intelligence is an essential part of any duel. You must know your enemy. Besides, our favorite here has fought many battles on their journey from Mondstadt. Such impressive feats require more than just bravery alone. You betcha! Huh? Wait a second. We never told you that we've been to Mondstadt. <laughs> Does one not leave a trail when traveling through the wild? In return, nature also leaves its traces upon you. However, there is only so much that can be discerned from these traces. I sense that many things about you elude me still. These are the things I am curious to know about. Come with me. Some post-match entertainment is in order. Kazuha's had his eye on you from the moment you arrived. If you've got anything to ask him, this'll be your chance.